Okay, so this is clean green energy right there. Uh, it's just one little corner of it. It goes the whole mountainside over there. I think this is only about 200 acres. It's funny because my neighbor used to own this property and he sold it to the winery for something like cheap, like 150,000, 200,000, like 1,000 an acre, which I wish I would have bought, <laughs> especially in retrospect, because then the winery sold this for like two or three million, I heard. So, I mean, good for them, but I mean, I wish I would have. Anyhow, I just kind of wanted to show you like energy is always going to be energy, no matter what. You know, there's right here's a high voltage power line. You can see windmills over there and they're going to put solar panels in here. So regardless, even if you have like a Tesla car, if you plug it in a wall, I mean, it's, it's just because you plug it in a wall doesn't mean that that energy isn't coming from this power line. And this power line goes, this one actually probably goes to uh, a coal plant. There's a lot. There's a couple around here yet in West Virginia. There's a few. So you're still burning fossil fuels to charge your car. And, I mean, I would love to know what the power ratio versus, like, an internal combustion engine. How much energy does this put out versus the electric one? Because when a Tesla catches fire, there are a lot of electric cars. They have so much energy, they burn for a long time. But, so, I mean, this, this mountain here, they logged it for almost two years straight. I mean, we have going through COVID and stuff, so I don't know uh, if that affected it. But a year, the whole thing thousands of logs out of there thousands of trees gone and like that the habitat like the foxes i never knew there were so many foxes up here they all come i live uh like right over there right yeah right over there and then like my parents live right over there so the foxes my god hundreds of foxes everywhere they all <laughs> they're all out of a home now so this whole mountainside is going to be completely raped to put solar panels on. And I mean, I'm honestly would love to know how much energy that actually produces versus how much land you got to molest to, to do it. You know, so there's no such thing as like clean green energy because look, all them trees are gone. All of them trees could have like been taking carbon monoxide out of the air. But instead, they're fucking gone and they're just going to be giant solar panels there. And there's nothing wrong with like windmills and solar panels. That's great, you know, but I just, I, it really bothers me. And people are like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, I drive a Tesla and I smell my own farts. It's like, dude, your Tesla is, you, this is what your Tesla did. Just to charge your Tesla right there. At least I would guarantee that square anyway, with just to charge one Tesla, you know, versus like an internal combustion engine. A lot of them have EGR systems, uh, you know, uh, muffler system, scrubbers, a lot of cool plants have scrubbers where you have a lot of zero emissions, like natural gas, like them are almost zero emissions. So it's, it's never, you always have a trade off in everything. So I just wanted to, I was just kind of cruising through in a quad. I was like, it, it just, it just irks me when people are like, Oh yeah, you know, we got to go green. Just like Joe Biden says, we got to put solar panels everywhere. If you put solar panels on your house, great idea. Do that. That's a good idea. Why wouldn't you? But to molest the whole hill, just want to let you know, this is what it looks like where solar panels go. And, you know, maybe in the desert or something where there's really nothing there. Sure, fuck, put up solar panels. And the windmills, like, they put them in 15, 20 years ago, maybe. Uh, I think 15 years. They have a 20 or 30 year lifespan, if I remember. They're looking pretty rough, so they're going to need replaced pretty soon. And they took a lot of land, a lot of land. So I just kind of wanted to start that out there in case anybody would happen to see this and be like, okay, man, that actually makes sense, you know. Energy, we as a people always use energy, especially as we grow more stuff, more electronic devices. We just need more energy. That's just the way it is, unfortunately. <laughs> If you take like every problem in the world, there's always one common denominator, it's the human. So, yeah, regardless, that's what it is, brother.